And if you are planning a picnic, you're gonna to wanna to try the DIY Monique has for us today. So here's what you're going to need. A canvas drop cloth, a pencil, a ruler, some scissors, fabric paint, a paintbrush, an iron, and a fringe trim of your choice, a sewing machine, and thread. But these last three are optional, so you can do this without the sewing machine. Hey Mo, how do we get started on our picnic blanket? So the first thing that you want to do to prepare your picnic blanket is to figure out kind of what design, get an idea on what kind of design that you want to have. So uh, for my picnic blanket, I've opted for like a, a minimalist type abstract kind of print and really it's just semicircles and it's really easy if you just go simple like that's the best thing that you can do with some of this especially if you're not you know the crafty type keep it simple so i've opted to sketch out these and then i've placed them in different uh pattern structures and you could again go to town how you wanted to do it i cut them out of cardstock or if you have cardboard hanging around uh, you can use that as well and so the next thing that you do after you get your stencil cut out would be to prepare your drop cloth. And so I, uh, there are so many different sizes of drop cloths that are available. And so the first thing that you want to do is select a drop cloth and then, you know, cut it down to size. Um, I got one that was about four feet by I believe around 15. So I, w I opted to cut mine in half. And so after that's done, you can go ahead and uh, iron it out. Now you want to start sketching out your pattern onto your canvas. So I'm going back to my stencil here and I've started out, I've sketched out a couple here. And so I'm going to go ahead and continue. And what I've done is I've just shifted along and you just grab your pencil and you sketch it out like so. You press firmly so you ensure that the pencil mark shows up and then boom, I have my triangles there. And so as you can see with my blanket here, that's kind of where we're going with this, right? And I just really just shifted it out. And again, you could switch it out. You could change the direction. You could use triangles. You can go to town again. So once you have your, your uh, shape sketched out, then that's where the fun begins. We start painting. And so I have, um, I have a couple of paint brushes here. I have a fine paint brush and then I have a more broader one that I've used and I've used the finer paint brush because I want to ensure that I'm staying within those lines. So for example, I'm going to dab a little of my paint here and then you just want to ensure that you're keeping in in those lines that you've drawn so that you have those nice clean lines. And then once you do your outline, essentially, then you go over it with a bigger brush and then you fill it in, just like coloring <laughs> when you're in school. You let that dry. And then after, you want to go over it with your iron once again. And so this is more so to seal that paint in and to ensure it's locked in there. So we go over, I would suggest that you turn your cloth over and iron it on the reverse side. And you may want to put a little bit of parchment paper underneath as well just in case there's any bleeding you just want to protect your surfaces so go over that and let that seal and then after you can hem it so this is where it, it's optional if you want to do the hem on the end just because you did cut your cloth you want to make sure you have that edge so it's not fraying away or if you wanted to add a little bit more to it you can you know pick up some trim i got this trim from my local fabric store there's so many different available different ones available there's tassels there's so many cute ones you can get them anywhere and then again you can go over that with your sewing machine if you want to do it all around if you want to just do it on the ends then you are good to go and there you have it you can go on your lovely picnic with your family and your friends so creative it looks like a little bit retro but still very contemporary i love the design right and i love the fact that it's something we can make at home mo thank you so much for that love your diys they're great